Sunday at 6 p.m. Now let's pull back the heavy black cloak that covers our lust cave and get ready to spelunk into another girl gone wired. Tonight's mythy spray of honey drizzle is Amy Bryant. Amy was a shy child who spent her childhood reading books and playing alone. Well, Amy, as a child, I too was the victim of crippling shyness. In fact, I refused to leave my room for 13 years, between the ages of 8 and 21. During this time, the only person I let visit me was my imaginary friend, Orlando. Together, Orlando and I played the years away, building play forts and putting on skits for a crowd of imaginary theater patrons. And then one night, when I was dreaming of the likes of Amy's glistening ass, I woke to find my friend Orlando trying to strangle me in my sleep. But I woke and fought him off. And because he was just imaginary, I killed him easily with my bare hands. And then I fled my room forever, and I've never been shy since. <laughs> Except when I try to talk to Morgan Webb, then I just get all flustered. But hey, you can see more of Amy on our website, amybryant.com. Well, Laura is with D-Tip Kevin Rose, and I fear they are embarking down the dark trail of illegality. Laura, what's it doing? Well, Kevin is going to show us what some people mm -hmm. are doing. He's going to, just to let you know that it's happening, mm -hmm. not endorsing it in any way. So it's, it's important to let Microsoft yeah. know this stuff. So, exactly. Uh, what better form than here? Uh, we're going to start off today with a little bit Xbox mind. Now, the traditional way to mod an Xbox is to add a mod chip. That means taking apart your Xbox, opening up, actually getting in there with some solder. Which voids the warranty. Voids your warranty. That's no good. But recently, within the last few months, they've come up with a way to mod the Xbox without even opening it up. Uh, it's completely solderless. Let me show you how it works. First thing you got to start off with is you have to get this little adapter here. This is called the Fantasy Star Online USB adapter. Now Microsoft sells this if you own Fantasy Star Online. It's actually free if you own it. You can just go to the website and pretend you own it and they send you one for free. Right. So start with that. Once you get that device in the mail, you also need a USB thumb drive. This one here is just a little uh, Muvo. It's, it's just a generic USB thumb drive. Uh, you're going to find some files that you need. It's called the uh, Mech Assault Exploit. You can find them on the web. They're all Wonderful over the place. File. Wonderful file. Take it, plug Plug it in, <laughs> plug it into the device here, and it plugs right into your controller. And once you do that, you've loaded this right into your Xbox controller. You can then go into uh, the actual Xbox screen here. Let me see if Keith can pull it up. There we go. Go into the memory, and we go into the controller here. And you'll notice that I actually, I actually copied, copied over the Linux uh, Mech Assault installer right here to the controller. You copy that to the Xbox hard drive. So it's taking it from the controller into the Xbox hard drive. You then take the Xbox. You have to get yourself a copy of the original game Mech Assault, not the Platinum Edition, although this is the Platinum Edition box. You need the first one that has the uh, actual exploit. We're going to open that up here, pop this out, open the Xbox up, and put the game in. And what's going to happen here is it's going to load the game Mech Assault. Now, this game has a hole in it. It was a bug that some, uh, some hackers found out there. Oops. And it's going to allow you to run. <laughs> Are you still with me here? I'm still with you. Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure we're on the same page. Mech Assault, put it in. Gotcha. Bug. Yeah, let's go. All right, so what you're going to do is once it's loaded up here, we're going to go into the campaign mode, and we're going to load that saved game that we copied over to the hard drive. So you're going to look here. Here's the campaign mode, and it says Run Linux. Now, that is not your average saved game. That is not going to take you into a game. It's going to launch a program called Evolution X, which is the replacement dashboard for that Microsoft uh, offers. Let me start it up here. So what we've done is uh, I'm going to power this back up here. Now you can go ahead and take this memory controller out, and uh, let me see if we have power here fire it up and pop out the game and now you're going to go into the hacked uh, Evolution X. So let's pretend that you just had clicked on that button. This one's already been done, so we'll I can't pretend. really. Well, we'll pretend. You're yeah. still with me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so now we're going into uh, Evolution X here. Now, Evolution X is the replacement dashboard. It's going to allow you to do things like back up your games, turn your Xbox into a media center. Here is uh, beautiful. the launch menu here, and you can do things like games. Here's all your games that are backed up to your hard drive. Now, these don't come preloaded, but uh, you can just back them up there. It's pretty cool. I mean, there's all different types of things you can do once you get to this point. You can go into System Utility here and uh, go into your skins here and there's all different types of things that you can change this to. Uh, here's a background I love. <laughs> That's one of my favorites there. Yeah. So you could, I mean modding your Xbox there's so many different things you can do with it and you don't even have to open it up. There are a little more steps to this. Detailed instructions. My website KevinRose.com. They're all there under the dark tips section. Absolutely. Are we, are we done? Did we, yeah. did we go through the you, whole thing? You got it all down? Right. I hope you guys all got that. Next time
and record this so you can go back to it and <laughs> refer to it yourselves. Or go to his website. Back to you, Marty. You know, Kevin, uh, very, that's all very cool and everything, but some guys are building rocket ships. <laughs> 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 the best I got. <laughs> Quit slacking, man. Quit slacking. All right, coming up, I'm going to harvest a mule deer and eat its liver live on the air. Do not miss it. Hi, I'm Karen. Apple Music made easy at Best Buy. Thousands of possibilities. Get yours. Hey, everyone, welcome back. Okay, the first thing you need to do to properly harvest a. Damn it, who the hell. Hello? Martin, man, this is Tremaine. Uh, Tremaine? I'm not dead. Yes, Why are you telling everybody I'm dead? I saw you get hit by a train. I never got hit by no train. I just quit hanging out with you because you kept trying to steal my bike, mother <laughs> You tried to steal my army pants. You did steal my oh, army, army pants. Army pants. <laughs> See, that's all the time we got. I'll eat the meal deal's heart tomorrow. Thanks to my friends, Kai Michelson, Dr. Mercurius, Girl Gone Wired, Amy, Kevin Rose. Termaine and the Swiss. Good night, everyone. We'll see you at the bar. Coming up next, Anime Unleashed.